All right, guys, so today I'm going to put you on to some sauce. I'm going to show you what I think so far is the quickest way to run Crew AI. You don't even have to install anything on your machine like the other videos. This is something that came up kind of like as an accident because I was trying to help somebody else install this on their computer. We're having a lot of issues and it was just basically an ogle. And I figured there's probably a lot of people going through similar pain points or just having some sort of trouble installing on these things. So I'm going to show you real quick what you need to do. We're going to do this in Google Colab. That's basically like Google Docs, but for running Python code. And like I said, all that you have to do is on this page. And we're literally just going to click through it. And you're going to be able to use Crew AI, the same as if you were using it on your machine. So I'm going to show you step by step. Let's get started. My estimate is that this isn't even going to take five minutes. So let's get through it real quick. So first, I'm going to send you the link in the description to this notebook. You're going to go to File and you're going to put save copy and drive this is going to let you have your own copy of this notebook so that you can it and then it's going to open it like this so now this is the one that you can work with now again i'm going to have these directions on here and then like i said all you have to do is click through each one of these lines to install everything you need and it just installs it within that notebook it's not going to install anything you're not going to need to install anything on your computer and i do want to emphasize that just because that's very convenient again you're still going to need an api key if you haven't gotten one i have the video link right here on how to do that but other than that, we can do the rest of the installation. So first we're gonna copy this repository. So this is just gonna be a sample project that I uploaded for you to, for you to get started with working with Crew AI. Just like that, it copied it. We didn't even have to install Git like before. Now we're gonna run this one to install poetry on your notebook so that you can use poetry like we had mentioned in the other videos. And these are all just things, libraries, dependencies that we need in order to run Crew AI. But the only difference is that we're just going to use them from this Google Colab notebook. So once that's done running, again, all you're doing here is clicking one line at a time. You don't have to, you know, type anything in the command prompt. You don't have to download anything. It's all happening here on your browser on this notebook. And again, once, once this one finishes, just go on to the next one pip install crew ai then we're going to go to pip install python decouple and i do want to emphasize when you're doing these installations make sure you do them one at a time start from top to bottom and don't start on the next line until the one you're already running finishes and you'll see that it's done running when you see this little check mark next to it or you'll see a message like this one here that says successfully installed after this one of the DuckDuckGo search, I did put this little message to make sure that you put your API key in your main dot, in your main dot pi file. That's the only other thing you're gonna have to do. And to edit that, all you have to do is click this little folder here. It's gonna show you right here, these uh, first Crew AI project folder. Open this, go to main.py. And right here in line 10, I even put it here in the message just so you can see what the example looks like. You need to delete this right here. And this is where you're gonna enter your API key that you got from OpenAI. Once you put your open once you put your OpenAI API key here, you're just gonna click Control S to save. See how it's saying saving right there? And you'll be able to save your file changes. Or I'm assuming you could just click, or I'm assuming you can just click file save right here. Alright, so I added my API key on there. Now we can do the last step, which is just to run this python main.py command here. And here you have it. Here's Korea starting up and it's giving you this message to basically the way this project works is it's just asking you what kind of business problems you're having. And if you have any questions about Korea, it, it's a very simple project. It only has two agents and two custom tasks, but there's just something for you to get started so you can get it working and then play with it from here on out. So here we're just gonna put, I want to open a barbecue food truck. So just like that, it's already running. And this is the part where the agents are starting to figure out what to do with the with the information we gave it in terms of the custom agents that it has and the custom tasks that it's supposed to do. And again, I wanna emphasize, this is just a simple bare bones project just for you to get started with getting Cray AI to run for you. If you want more information on how you can customize this project, how you can make it more attuned to your business needs, your hobbies, or whatever it is you're trying to learn, you can definitely watch these videos that I linked over here at the top. They're gonna to show you and they're gonna walk you through other Cray AI projects that I ended up customizing, tuning, and that kind of stuff. So here, these are all just the responses back and forth regarding 
you know, the information that it's pulling, the answer that it's given, the next task that is being given to the other agent. And what's kind of creepy about this is that it almost does look like a conversation that is happening at a very quick pace between two very smart people. And there you have it guys, after starting our request with Crew AI, we had this long conversation between two agents trying to figure out the best tips and strategies they could give us for automating certain aspects of, you know, creating content for that business we wanted to start. Here we have the end result. And again, this was just a very quick, very generic starter project I put together just to show you how quickly you could install this on your Google Colab notebook. Again, the other thing that's great about this is Google Colab is free. You're basically running your Python code on Google's machines. So that's why it just works so neat, so nice. You don't have to install anything on your computer. And again, I think it's gonna be the best bet if you're trying to go for using this with the least headaches. And one more thing I want to mention guys is I wouldn't have come across this solution if it hadn't been through the Discord group. Again, that's going to be a great place to collaborate, share ideas, share concerns regarding like things you might want to work with, things you want to learn about. And again, the best way to reach me directly is going to be through, you know, one of those outlets. And the more ideas and the more feedback you can give me about the kind of things you want to learn or the kind of things that you're having trouble with, the more I'm going to be able to find better solutions, both for you and for me, because I don't even know you could do this either. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.